data. Now we were talking about, you know, what you do in Vault for like, you know, compliance and all the other things. But you know what? The crazy part is actually just restoring data that someone deleted. And this is why I really recommend that you disable rather than delete an account for someone that you let go. Go to directory. Huh. Go to your users. Right? You'll have your user here. And you can go ahead and you can click on that. You'll see this here. More options. And again, this is why disabling is so much better than deleting because if you like have someone that like rage quits and deletes all their stuff on the way out the door and i have seen that happen more than once mind you click on restore data that is it it will actually go through and restore the data on it and you're good to go now there's some caveats to this again this is different from vault the big thing here to make sure of is you're not going over 25 days um, if you do go over 25 days and it's in deleted then google will permanently delete it along the way but this is exactly how you delete data from someone who restored something. You just go ahead and you click on that and it will go through, give you a date range, what application you need to do, Gmail or Drive or both, and then boom. But remember, only within the last 25 days, that's your big clue on this one. But that is how easy it is to restore data if someone accidentally deletes something or if they rage quit and delete all their stuff and walk out the door. And this is again, while disabling a user is so much more important than deleting them right off the bat because this stuff will happen. All right, well, really short video, but that's exactly how you restore data if it got deleted.